Alright guys, welcome to part two of our very festive Manchester United preview. It's now time to pick our team. So Rory, kicking off in goal is obviously going to be Courtois. No it's, surprises there. Yeah, it's got to be Courtois. I think he was very unlucky with the goal uh, against Watford. It was deflected at the time. I thought that he may have been made an error because it was at the other end. But yeah, it was, it was, he was not a fault at all. And um, yeah, it's, it's obviously Courtois. You know, mm -hmm. I, I like Begovic, but there's no debate here. Thibaut Courtois. Excellent. And then we've obviously got our back four. Now, guys, uh, Zuma was left out against Watford. So do we put Zuma back in the team or do we stick with Gary Cahill? I think this is this is the one. I, I think, you know, we, Sophie and I had a chat about this off camera and we decided to, to bring Zuma back. Yeah. But very interested to hear your thoughts. You know, comment below. Let us know. Do you think this is the right move or do you think Gary Cahill did enough to keep his place in the team? But I think the reason that we've brought Zuma back in is because of the pace of Martial. I think that you know, Rooney was left out the other day, so presumably Martial will play. Mm -hmm. And if he does, somebody like Kurt Zuma will be essential. Exactly. Um, I don't so know we, if Gary we, Cahill actually has the force to stop some of Man United's play. I mean, if he's very... I think I'd we'd be played Gary Cahill against Watford for a reason, sort of to lay things out a little bit more. Zuma's more of one of those uh, impact players, I feel. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. I think there are certain games that are... That are handmade for Gary Cahill mm -hmm. you know yeah. certain away games and I think that that um, there are certain places where Gary Cahill would have to play I just don't think Manchester United away is one of them no so we've gone for we've gone for obviously uh, Terry and Cahill uh, sorry Terry and Zuma as our uh, as our brick wall as our two centiles and either side we're going to go with Cesar Aspilicueta on the left yes and then Branislav Ivanovic I mean look on the right I think it's safe to say that Ivanovic I mean god seasons ago every season apart from this oh, season really yeah. I've I've named him was one of Chelsea's best players there was absolutely no doubt about it I mean he's he saved our lives more more times than I care to remember but this season overall he's he's quite good going forward running down the pitch but he's a defender at the end of the day and his defending has not been good but who do we have that could come in place of him at the moment. Well, there isn't I really think, somebody. I think that's the problem. You know, we, we obviously, as a club, I don't I don't think it was uh, Mourinho signing, but as a club, we signed Bubba Rahman. Yeah. And Bubba Rahman was brought in to play left back and was, you know, came in, he's a, apparently, you know, the best defender and most tackles in the Bundesliga and all that kind of talk. But, you know, Hiddink doesn't fancy him either. Hiddink didn't play him against Watford. Mourinho certainly didn't fancy him. So, and from what I've seen of him, you know, occasionally I think he's looked okay, but equally, it's he hasn't looked... The, the finished article, and we're going to Old Trafford. We're going to a cathedral of football, one of the, the most intimidating grounds in the Premier League. Yeah. Um, they, they are they are a metropolis of a football club. So, so your players need experience, and I don't think this is a game for Rahman. No, exactly. I think hitting, to be fair, I think at the moment he doesn't really want to rock the boat. Yeah. So bringing in new players, and especially players like Baba Rahman, who may well be very good in the Bundesliga, I say it all the time, you've got players like Falcao that come in, you've got players mm. like Baba Rahman that come in that have been excellent in other leagues. The Premier League is very, very different, and if you're not suited to it, you, you won't even make yeah. the team, you won't. You might not even make the bench sometimes, because it is a completely different league. I know, completely uh, right. So yeah, Ivanovic is going to have to be So that's our back line. Our back, our back line reads, Azpilicueta, uh, Terry, Zuma... Ivanovic. Comment below, let us know what you think. So let's move slightly further up the pitch. What let's do you think? move. Okay, so then we've, I'm assuming we're going with two in defensive midfield. We certainly are. Matic is going to be one of those. Yeah. Purely because I think he's he's played well, very well against Manchester United in the past. Yeah. He's a very forceful player, which is what we need because Man United do have very dangerous players uh, going forward. He could be the one in midfield to make those Breaks tackles. Up their play as well. Yeah. Yeah, and do you, know what, I do, do you know what I like about Matic as well? Matic is capable of making a tackle from, from behind without fouling, fouling yeah. it's which a, it's is very hard. It's, it's, an a, art. it's a very yeah. big art form. Yeah, yeah. Oscar's very, very good at that as well. It's an art form though, I agree. It's very, exactly. very difficult. But yeah, I think you're right. I think Matic has to play. And I was so worried, you know, going into the game against Watford, we knew that Matic was one booking away from missing the game. Exactly. And I was so worried that Matic was going to get booked because I think he is a player that you need going into a game at Old Trafford. Mm -hmm. Really do. You need the players who win you the ball, you need the players who don't give the ball away. And Matic is both of those. So exactly. Matic is certainly in there. Alongside him is... See, now me and Rory disagreed a little bit on this one. Now, Rory, I think you're going to go for Fabregas, aren't you? I am going to go for Fabregas, yes. Yeah. Re let, let's let's see what Rory's reason is, and then you lot comment below and see what see what you think. My reason for playing Cesc Fabregas in a game of this magnitude is because he is a big game player. He's won everything. He's a World Cup winner. He has he knows exactly what it takes to win big games, and I think that he was he's been unfairly treated by some. 
people at Chelsea, you know, both within the club and some of the support. So let's give him a chance to clean the slate. I think this is a massive game for him. I think I didn't think uh, I think I was gutted that he went off against Watford because mm. um, I thought that he was playing relatively well. Um, and I just think that he could he could win you the game going up there. You know, he, he's um, had very good. He was certainly involved in heated exchanges with Manchester United in the past. I think he threw a pizza at Sir Alex Ferguson once. Oh no! Um, yeah. So uh, <laughs> he'll want to win. It. Yeah, he'll want to win. So I think that for me. Matic and Fabregas, um, and that's what we're going with. I know so fun. I've, I completely think that the points that you made when we had a chat about this, I think they're all really accurate, really, yeah. really valid, good points. But I had to put my foot down. Don't hate me. Do you agree? Do, if, if you do, comment please below. comment below. Um, but I had to put my foot down for Fabregas. <laughs> um, uh, so that's slightly further forward. I, I concede one in a moment. You'll see where. Um, yes, okay, forward. there we go. All right, then. Well, obviously, one of our main midfielders and our main man, our number 22, William, has to play. There's no doubt in my mind, he is the sort of player that can not just destroy Man United, he causes every team problems. Lesser teams, higher teams in the league, everyone. So he's been, you know, even when Mourinho was in charge and everybody else was, was underperforming, he's been one of our key players this season who has shown that he is consistent. I like consistency in a player. I don't like players that come in for six months and then yeah, couldn't agree flake more. off, it flake off to, after. It, it has to be William. I mean, everything you've said there is perfectly accurate, but there's no debate here. It, it's There's a couple... William, about, we'll, we'll, we'll put three, if we could put three Williams in, oh, they'd all be 11, there. 11. 11 Williams. 10 Williams and a keeper. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I think you've, you've hit the nail on the head there. Yeah. William is certainly in. Um, let's move slightly further across. Who is going to play behind the striker? Are we going to go with Oscar? I think I, I think that's what happened. I think we're going to have to because obviously his penalty was was disgraceful. But you know his performance <laughs> against Sunderland, and uh, his yeah. performance against what against Watford or Barlow penalty, was okay. again quite impressive. So he is going to go in the team over Pedro. I think purely because of the, those those facts and maybe if it's not working out, maybe See maybe bring happens. Pedro in. And then Eden Hazard on the other wing. Hundred percent because I think. I wasn't sure the reception that Eden Hazard was going to get get against Watford, uh, but you know he got a good reception and he and he played very well. He made a difference when he came on. I thought I thought we were a lot more dangerous going forward. He deserves a chance, especially at Man I United. Agree. I agree. I think again, there's there's a, a little bit of hostility, a little bit of um, the, the ground isn't smooth with no. regards to Eden Hazard at the moment. And and a game like this, a game of this stature, could be the way to put it right. Now we're into my favourite position to discuss. Yeah. It's my man. We're going with it. We're going to go with Remy. Can't it's believe be it. Remy. You know, it's a bit of a shame, really, that it's taken Diego Costa to get injured for us to have um, a vacancy for a striker, if you will, because I understand... Suspended, suspended. Yeah, suspended. exactly. I mean, it's, it's a shame that, yeah. you know, Remy is one of those players, I remember when he was playing for QPR, that I've, I thought, God, he's brilliant. Like, I'd love to have him because he seemed quite creative and... He's, just he's, just he's, bring a bit of pace to the game, and you know he he is he's a he's a great striker. He's a great striker. I really can't see why he doesn't get more game time. Mm. Every time he plays for Chelsea, he seems to score. score he yeah. scores good goals. He scores easy goals. He's just a complete striker. I rate him so highly, and I think he's a man for this uh, man for the job at Old Trafford. I'm really pleased he can play. Shame that Costa has just started scoring. Got a couple of goals against Watford, and then he's out of the side. But. It's only a game. Remy can play, and I'm sure that Remy can do. I just don't know why. Why don't managers give him more of a looking? Do you know? I think must be terrible in training. Exactly. I think at the moment, like I said, Gus doesn't want to rock the boat, and I think with Costa, managers like Jason Mourinho and Gus are thinking, I want him to get back to his best. So they yeah. think if they the more game time they give him, the more time he'll get into his fluent self again. However, at the same time, other strikers that are equally as good, equally as capable of of changing the game. Should be allowed. Should be allowed a chance. So only time will tell. I mean, I'm I'm just hoping that Gus doesn't try and put Hazard up front because that would that yeah. Would really I don't. Me. I don't. I'd be really disappointed with that. But I don't think it will happen. I'm convinced it's going to be Remy's Remy's day. Well, good. guys, this is exciting. Uh, we're both going to Old Trafford, so we're going to see you there. And come and have a fan cam. Come and have a chat with Sophie after cam. the game. Come and see me. Yeah. Uh, God, it's, it's a must win to me, guys. So yeah, That's exciting, it. exciting time. See you all Love there. You, please.